Maxine Bergen from Deaf Victoria is asking about the government's responsibility to engage with diverse groups with different communication needs. Uh, she says for deaf people and other culturally and linguistically diverse groups through COVID, this was highlighted and there were interpreters used, but it's now stopped. Is there money in the budget to keep that program going? I'm oh, sorry, uh, Andrew, I couldn't go to that level of detail, but I do know that the Premier has made it very clear that um, uh, he recognises and supports uh, the work that our Auslan interpreters do and the vital role that they played during, of course, the pandemic crisis in keeping all Victorians, uh, particularly the hearing impaired, uh, across uh, and understanding exactly uh, the nature of the problems that we confronted. Uh, we've uh, certainly put uh, extra funding into funding for our uh, multicultural and linguistic uh, uh, services as part of this budget, largely because we do recognise that uh, uh, you can't really get uh, unified community support unless you talk to people uh, in, in the languages that make them feel, uh, well, that they have greater, greatest capacity to appreciate the nature of the problem that's in their uh, mother tongues. But more importantly, I think that would equally apply to Auslan. So we'll go back and have a look at that and see what more we can, what more uh, information we can give. You've uh, weighed in 